Welcome to UK Explored. In this video, we're back in Bristol, but this time we're visiting the top five most dangerous areas, according to the official crime statistics. The fifth most dangerous area on our list is Bedminster, with a crime rate of 181 per 1,000 residents. Bedminster is located on the south side of Bristol. It actually has a really interesting history. Bedminster started out as a small settlement, it later became a small town in Somerset, and it finally graduated to a ward in Bristol in the early 1800s. However, like most of Bristol's troubled areas, the population of Bedminster has exploded over the last 100 years or so, and this is a huge factor in the crime and antisocial issues escalating. There are currently around 12,500 people living in what is a relatively small area, and as you'll see from the footage, the roads are packed with cars, there's rows of tight terraced housing, and there's a huge tower block crammed with full of people. The crime rate of 181 is no joke. That's more than double the average crime rate for the UK. And this is only the fifth most dangerous place in Bristol. Most of the offences are violence, antisocial and public order. And interestingly, although not a huge surprise as I'll explain, there's a huge number of vehicle crimes in Bedminster. Now, Bristol is known for vehicle crime. It's literally one of the worst places in the country for some reason. And with a lack of secure parking in Bedminster, I wouldn't feel great about parking my car there. Some of the recent headlines that jumped out when Googling the area were murders, fire damage, class A drugs, various serious assaults, thieves robbing the businesses. It goes on and on and pretty much covers all the bases for the types of crimes. On a positive note, Bedminster has a busy shopping district and it looks like there was a good number of local businesses that are still surviving, which is great to see in this climate. It also has weekly markets and different festivals throughout the year. It's one of the more colourful and artsy areas, if you like that look. And it's great for foodies and generally just socialising along the main shopping areas. House prices in Bedminster are pretty obscene, as is most of Bristol. The average for the last year was in the 412,000 range. And yep, that's a massage parlour on one of the main streets. I think we both know that that's not somewhere where you're going to get a sports injury resolved. But feel free to drop in and tell me if I'm wrong. Moving on to the fourth most dangerous area in Bristol, we're stopping at Hartcliffe, which has a crime rate of 186 per 1,000 residents. Hartcliffe is a little further south of Bedminster. And as a rule of thumb for Bristol, the further south you go, the more trouble you're probably in. Hartcliffe is the only area on this list to feature on our last video where we visited the top five most deprived areas in Bristol and I'll put a card up on the screen there for that video if you're interested. But I don't want you to think we're picking on Hartcliffe, we're just going where the stats take us and it's obvious as you'll see from the footage from walking around Hartcliffe that it is struggling. Hartcliffe has a slightly smaller population than Bedminster with around 11,500 residents and the blend of crime is also slightly different with criminal damage and arson ranking higher than vehicle crime. Some of the headlines that paint a picture of what's going on in Hartcliffe include domestics, serious assaults, huge drug hauls, murders, stabbings, and there are loads of issues revolving around the tower blocks. In fact, an area just outside of the tower blocks called the Groves has previously been listed in the top 10 most dangerous streets in Bristol. And that's saying something. There's the local pub, which as I mentioned in the last video has been featured on the TV show for the roughest pubs in the entire country. Here is the shopping district with all the usual suspects. You've got a bookies, pharmacy, your Greggs and so on. I think it's fair to say that the locals have long given up on that place of worship. And it's a surprise that Morrison's even has any shopping trolleys left with the number of trolleys we spotted around the estate. If you want to move into the area, Hartcliffe is one of the less expensive areas in Bristol. It has an average house price of around 260,000 last year. Moving on to the third most dangerous area in Bristol, we have Kingsdown with a crime rate of 216 per 1,000 residents. Kingsdown is located north of the city centre and I'll say right off the top that this was the only area on this list where we really didn't feel completely safe filming. We got stared out by youths, we heard more than one loud domestic through an open window just walking around. There were homeless and intoxicated people. And there's a reason why the flats in Kingsdown are used as filming locations to represent dangerous areas. It's because they are dangerous. 
I will say that there is a nice, in fact a very nice affluent part of Kingsdown, but the contrast between the posh and the rough areas of Kingsdown is shocking. The main culprits for a lot of the crime in the area comes from the huge social housing tower blocks on the Stokes Croft side. Here are some of the recent headlines. People have been caught trafficking drugs, there's been some high profile murder cases, serious assaults, and there have been endless stories about the tower blocks being lawless. Carolina House in particular has been featured on the BBC as a drug hangout and a dangerous place to live. It doesn't stop there though, as you can see from our drone footage, there are a number of blocks and flats. Yeah, I wonder what these guys are up to huddled together like that. The surrounding areas are covered in graffiti, we saw drug paraphernalia on the floor, empty beer cans everywhere, it smelled of weed, and it just looks pretty menacing to be honest. We stopped at the King Square Park, so we had enough space to put the drone up, and there was a bunch of intoxicated people living out of tents in there. Kingsdown was the only area outside of the city centre where we saw homelessness, so that was pretty shocking. I won't give you the average house price because the numbers are skewed by the expensive mansions that are in the other part of Kingsdown. But the area we featured here, as you can see, is social housing. There are some inexpensive properties there, but it's hard to recommend that anyone would move into this area if you have a choice. So on to the area with the second highest crime rate in Bristol, and that is Temple Meads with a crime rate of 266 per 1,000 residents. Temple Meads is located just outside of Bristol city centre, within walking distance basically. The area runs along the side of the River Avon and is home to the largest train station in Bristol, which is Temple Meads Station. Now the fact that Temple Meads is near the centre, has a train station and overlooks a river, makes it a perfect storm for high crime and social disorder. Train stations and high foot traffic areas generate opportunities for crime. So a lot of the crime stats for Temple Mead are related to the station and the surrounding area there. But crime has a habit of spilling out into a larger area and there are some dangerous housing estates in Temple Meads. We basically found more of the same as we've already uncovered across Bristol. Loads of graffiti, people drinking at midday, burned out and derelict buildings and large tower blocks. Parts of Temple Meads and neighbouring Redcliffe actually look like something out of a zombie apocalypse movie. Some of the buildings that are lived in look like they've been run down to the ground, and there are derelict buildings that have probably only been empty for a short while, but they look like they've been empty for decades. Looking at the crime stats for Temple Meads, the numbers are made up from the usual violent offences and antisocial behaviours. Looking at some of the recent headlines, as I explained earlier, there are lots of incidents in and around the train station, like bottles being thrown, other weapons like bowl cutters being used, serious assaults, drug seizures, physical abuse, arson, and it just carries on like that. Average house prices for the last year in and around Temple Meads are around 193,000. That's way below the average for Bristol, which as a whole is nearer 400,000. I think that speaks volumes about the area. My advice is, if you're entering or leaving Bristol via Temple Meads station, you need to take care. Avoid the area at night, unless that is you're looking for trouble. This will not come as a huge surprise to many, but the most dangerous area in Bristol with the highest crime rate is the city centre, with quite a substantial crime rate of 365 per 1,000 residents. Now, obviously, the city centre of any city usually has the highest crime stats, and we did debate whether or not to just keep this list of residential areas. But as Bristol is such a popular city, and because the city centre and surrounding areas are pretty intimidating, we decided to keep it in to raise some awareness. Now a crime rate of 365 is pretty bonkers to be honest. Most of the crime stats do relate to shoplifting and antisocial behaviour by day, and then there's a new wave of drunken idiots that come out at night for a dust up, so both of those things can be avoided for the most part. But the parks and neighbourhoods surrounding the city centre aren't that safe, and you really don't want to take a wrong turn. Some of the headlines that jumped out at me are, packs of feral mobs running amok, taxis being used to ferry drugs, serious assaults and even murders, shops being firebombed, people being stabbed in Wilco, arson, various drug offences, robberies at knife points, 
It just goes on and on, and some of those are really pretty serious crimes. When we were around there at midday, there were homeless people living in tents in the parks and begging in the town centre. There was rubbish and signs of drug use all over the floor in the parks. And of course, you can't go anywhere in Bristol without seeing loads of graffiti. Like most city centres these days, a lot of shops have closed down and the centre looks pretty depressing for the most part. We released a video recently showing how Swindon town centre has almost become a ghost town. And it looks like most of Bristol city centre outside of Cabot Circus is going the same way, unfortunately. Anyway, that's it for our roundup of the five most dangerous and crime ridden areas in Bristol. I hope you enjoyed this video and you now know the areas to avoid or to go to if that's your thing. Please subscribe to the channel and press the like button before you leave. It really means a lot to us and it helps more people to see this video. Thank you very much.